everybody, I'm Roshani. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be filming a video about Augustine's birth story. Augustine was born on February 7th. Our little guy decided to arrive late. I was 41 weeks when he was born. Um, it was Tuesday night at around 4 a.m. when I got up to go to the washroom and I was like, oh, Miss Devin, I, I think I my water broke, but I'm not sure. Um, at first I thought I had just like peed myself, but um, but the wa my water did break. I was tested positive for the group B the group B strep. So if you are a woman who has this, then as soon as your water breaks, you have to go to the hospital so that they can put you on penicillin. But we thought, okay, water broke, so let's go to the hospital and let's get this show on the road. It's finally happening. I don't know if I should confess this to the YouTube world, but on our way to the hospital at 5 a.m. in the morning, we stopped by McDonald's and I ate a Big Mac. <laughs> I just thought, what if they don't feed me or what if they're what if they're gonna make me wait until after I give birth to eat? So I just wanna be really, really full. Um, I don't recommend that for anybody. It gave me such bad heartburn. But yes, we, we did a McDonald's run. Um, no judgment, okay? You do what you gotta do. When we got to the hospital, they checked us in and they did confirm that my water had broken. So they took me up to my room. It was great, it was nice and the midwives came in and they said, okay, well, we are just going to uh, let you hang out here and see if your labor starts naturally. You have 12 hours to see if your labor starts naturally, and if not, then we have to induce you to help prevent infection. So I thought, okay, 12 hours, how can I try and help that process along? So I was in my room for 12 hours, um, bouncing on my yoga ball, uh, standing up, walking back and forth, trying to get labor going naturally. And it didn't happen. This baby just did not want to come out. At 8 p.m. on Tuesday night, they gave me um, medication to induce contractions. And my whole plan going into the birth was to uh, do it naturally epidural, drug-free. Um, I wanted to be one of those like natural, powerful moms. And I had read a lot that when you induce labor, um, the contractions are different because you don't have, when your contractions start naturally, your body produces oxy, oxytocin, that's how they say it in Spanish, I think it's oxytocin in English. Um, and then your body also produces the adrenaline and other hormones to compensate um, in the off time when you don't have contractions. But when you are induced, your body doesn't produce that, that other hormone to help offset and balance the contractions. So usually induced labors are a whole lot more painful. Um, I got up to six centimeters dilated and then I broke. <laughs> My willpower broke. I told the and I'm like, okay, just, I'm ready for the epidural now, let's get it. And they did it so fast, they came in, they gave me the epidural, um, and so for a couple of hours I felt like, oh, I can, I can actually have a conversation. The epidural was great. Um, then at eight centimeters, um, the dosage had worn off and so they gave me another dosage but it actually the catheter had like moved so it ended up freezing just like putting to sleep the right side of my body not the left side so i literally could not move one leg and i could move the other leg it was very strange it was like having a dead leg attached to you um and you could still feel the pain so they fixed all that um yeah, they, so they fixed all that, and I was really surprised by how little I was able to tolerate the pain. It was excruciating, um, like like something I've never experienced before. Then finally, when I got to nine centimeters, they realized that um, the reason my labor didn't start naturally is because although my water broke, it broke from up top in the uterus 
not from down below. So the baby was still floating around in amniotic fluid, which wasn't allowing him to um, move down into my pelvis and to start contractions naturally or to help dilate me naturally. So at nine centimeters, they actually ended up having to re-break my water. And I thought that was very strange, but that, it explains why I wasn't able to naturally go into labor at least. The worst part of labor, I would say, is that the final expulsion phase when you're having to like actively push the baby out of your body. Um, I had to do that for an hour and a half. I was like pushing and praying for that whole hour and a half. I, after every push, I was like praying. This will be the last one. Please help me. Like, please help me. And after an hour and a half, I have to be, I will just be honest. Um, I really felt abandoned by the Lord. I was in so much pain and I felt like he wasn't there and he wasn't answering my prayers. And that I, there came a moment when I truly thought the baby would never come out. Um, I really did believe that the baby would never come out. He was stuck in there and that he was going to die and that I was going to die and um, I know that sounds really extreme and really dramatic but that's just how I truly felt in that moment and then there was the miraculous final push when Augustine did come out and they put him on top of me and I just stared at him. I was in, I was in shock, I think. Um, I was just in shock that he actually made it out. And he did some serious damage as he came out. I mean, I got what they call second degree tears. Um, I know a lot of the women watching this will know what that means. And and so I was, I was just my first few moments holding the baby just completely shocked in silence like looking at him but like in complete disbelief that he actually made it out um once they started like you know cleaning me up and cleaning him up then i was able to um connect into the moment oh my gosh like i have a baby and he's here and this is him and look at his hair and look at look at his look at his eyes it took about two hours in in the delivery room they took us back to our own bedroom for recovery and um, we really just, I really praise God because I know now in hindsight looking back on it, the Lord did not forsake me. Um, I do have my baby and you know, God did, God did help me through that birthing process even though I felt like um, He didn't help me on my timeline um, or in the way I would have wished. After the birth, I dealt with disappointment about having had the epidural and having not been able to go into labor naturally. I just, I felt like, I felt disappointed that that wasn't, that wasn't what I had planned. Um, and I have chosen to release myself from, from that. That's false guilt and that is false shame and it doesn't come from the Lord. Um, God is good and God got me through labor and yes it took some drugs to do it uh, and it took a really great medical staff and it took a long time but we got through it and I'm here today and I have a beautiful baby boy as testimony that uh, God is good and he was with us and this is my miracle child. Augustine was born weighing 3 kilos 900 grams. Um, I think that that is like eight pounds, six ounces, and he was 51 centimeters. I'm not sure how long that is in inches, but he is a big baby. <laughs> he is a big, beautiful baby and healthy. That first day, he slept like a champion, and it was great. It was such a blessing. I was able to recover from labor, and then the next couple nights, he kept us up. <laughs> but hey, that's what newborns do. Um, now we're starting to get into a sleeping pattern and a sleeping habit. 
So in total, my stay at the hospital was four days, um, much longer than I had anticipated, but they were great. Um, they took really great care of us. We asked for none of our family and friends to come to the hospital because I really wanted time to bond with the baby and recuperate. I didn't know what I would feel like after birth. And thankfully, all of our loved ones respected that. And we were just given a good couple days with our son to get to know him and to just ooh and ah over every little facial expression of his and um, for me to recover and to feel better. And now we're back at home. Well, that is Augustine's birth story. And if you are going to be delivering soon, then just be encouraged that plans change and it's okay. Um, don't feel bad about it when things don't result the way you had hoped for them to. Um, it, it doesn't make you a bad mom or less of a woman. That's just the way it is. At the end of the day, what matters is that you come away with your child and that he's healthy and that you come away after birth and that you're healthy. So this is baby Augustine. He's just waking up from his nap. Are you going to say hello to the world? I'm telling them your birth story. He is the cutest. You can see his beautiful chubby cheeks. Hey, are you going to wake up? This is our little guy and we just love him to pieces. Sometimes I just stare at him, he's so beautiful. So that is our birth story. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, you can put a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below for more videos in the future. Bye guys.